I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to my new subscribers and my also as well. I hope you guys are doing okay because your girl right now, I've got a bit of cold, so my voice might be sounding a bit different, I might be sneezing now and then like a little, like a little rap, but please forgive me because your girl has to do this video and um, yeah, and this video needs to go up on Sunday. So anyways, so the first video on this channel is um, 10, 10 reasons to why I truly believe um, childcare or nurse working in nursery is very toxic. Yeah, I think sometime around April, March, I posted a video uh, about the toxic in, in childcare on my TikTok and it, it literally got a lot of views and people were literally agreeing with all the reasons that I gave. So I thought, let me bring it here and I've got more, you know, more reasons to why I truly believe working in, in a childcare setting is very toxic. So without further ado, let's go into it. So number one is high stress levels. So guys, if you see me looking down, it's just I've got a note of everything down. So number one is high stress level. Now guys, let me tell you, yeah, working in a nursery setting, there's stress that you get. First of all, yeah, you're all distressed. If, if you're a mother, so let's put myself, let me just put myself, let me give myself an example. I'm a mother. My kids have already stressed me in the morning. I'm going to work and then you're getting stressed from little children. And then you're getting stressed from your other staff members who just don't, who are just there for the sake of being there. They don't really want to work. They just want to make money doing nothing. Who just go in and out of room chatting, chatting bubbles. So you, it, the, the stress level is up. It's up there. Stress level of working in, in child care is them. Um, you're getting stressed from just some children. You're getting stressed from your staff members. You're getting stressed from the management team. It's like by the time you get home to your kids, you're literally finished you're finished you're finished every time i used to come back from work i was finished finished so that's number one number two is understaffing when i tell you understaffing in childcare, oh my goodness it's like a big problem and i feel like the government needs to do something about it because i don't understand why you have so many you have loads of setting that open but st staff wise it's awful Anything can happen. There's, there was the time where I've been, I was left with, let's say, 30 something kids or 20 something kids on my own outside where there's not a camera. If anything happens, it's my word against these kids. So you're put in a position where if something happens, you're getting the blame for it, even if it wasn't your fault, just because of understaff. And when you even mention to the, to the manager, why is this even happening? It seems like they can't do anything. And it just baffled me so much. Like there was a time where four people have been allowed to go on holiday, knowing that there's going to be loads of kids, knowing that we're going to be understaffed instead of getting maybe an agency worker. No, we, we were just so, oh. So yeah, understaffing in childcare is the one thing that I absolutely hated. I hated with my, with my whole heart. Number three, low payment. Mm. Working in childcare, payment wise, is below, it's minimum wage, minimum wage. For the work that we do, for the work that we do, I truly believe if you're saving somebody's life, if, if you're working in a hospital, if you're a fireman, if you're a police officer, if you're working in a care home, or if you're a school teacher, all these people, all these people should get paid a decent pay. Because we're all looking after, we're all looking after, we're all giving care. But we're not get, we're not getting paid enough. We were not getting paid enough. The amount of time we'll complain, and guess what? This year, all um, minimum wage has gone up. But guess what? For us, for in well, at the place where I used to work, it went by five pence. <laughs> by five pence. And we, uh, we we just meant to say, oh, thank you. So yeah, low pay is what you will expect in childcare setting. If you want to go work in a nursery, just know that you're not going to get paid enough for the work that you're doing. Yeah, you're not going to get paid enough. Full stop. So if you're thinking you're going there because you're going to get... No! Truth be told, you are not going to get paid enough. That's number three. Moving on to number four. Lack of support. Lack of support. What do I mean by lack of support? Lack of, lack of support from the management team. Lack of support from even your staff members. Even your own colleagues do not support you. They, like, 
I don't understand. Sometimes you you be in a room, you have how many kids? You're even over ratio. You're over ratio. You're over ratio, and you're not getting that support from your your, your manager. Then you have to look back, especially if you're working in a setting where it's owned by a big company and there's different around. You are not you're not going to be heard by your manager. Your manager will even pass the message to the top to the top people up there. They will not do anything about it because they're so focused on the and the areas where where the game paid more. Now, what I, I really what really got me angry is parents are paying so much money to the point where some parents had to take the kids out of the place where at the setting where you used to work. Why? Because they're paying so much and we're getting paid low. Like, where is the money going? Where is the money that parents are paying for the kids so we can look after the kids? Where is it going? Because we're not getting paid enough. We're getting paid minimum wage. But these parents are paying so much money. And would you blame them taking the kids out of the nursery? No, I was like, feel free. Take your kids out. Do what you have to do for your child. If your child, if you're paying people to look after your children, and then these people are not giving paid enough, would I blame you for taking the children out of that setting? I wouldn't blame you at all. So I was literally encouraging parents, if you want to take your children out, take them out. Take them out. Because it's not, it's, you're putting, a lot of times staff members are being put in a risk. Lots of risk. The amount of time I was put under pressure, it was just a lot. A lot. So yeah. Number five is poor communication. The, the many times where I experienced poor communication, working in the industry is just above me. It was above me. Above me, above me. Poor communication from your, your colleagues, poor communication from your manager, poor communication from the parents themselves. It's just like, could we just be an adult, sit, communicate well among each other so things can work smoothly? But no, we were all just all, always under, under pressure, under pressure, stressful, stressful. And you're ending up putting all your stress on the kids as well. You're having to raise your voice, even if you didn't have to raise your voice. But because you're so pressured, you're, you're making you're making silly mistakes that you should be making number six is emotionally drained guys the amount of times i was emotionally drained emotionally drained i was downcast guys you don't understand the place where i worked i was emotionally drained by the time i come home i don't have time for my own kids i don't have time for my own husband that's how it that's how emotionally drained I was. You're you're giving all your emotion to all these kids. You're giving all your, it's just a lot. A lot, a lot. So yeah, you will be emotionally drained if you want to work in as early as getting. Next one is parent pressure. Guys, I cannot stress them. Parent pressure is another thing. Some of these parents expect so much from you. They expect you to put it in the children. They expect you to um, do everything for the children. But what's your job as a parent? Are you giving your parental responsibility to me, someone that is meant to only supposed to look look after your children for a couple of what, few hours? You see, parents will be giving you stress upon stress upon stress. Management is giving you stress upon stress upon stress. The kids themselves are giving you stress upon stress. And then your colleagues will give you stress upon stress. By the time you come home, you're finished. You're finished. You're finished. That was me every single week. I'm not going to lie to you guys. That was me every single week. Health and safety concerns. Yes, health and safety concerns is another thing. Like I said, ratio numbers, I was always over ratio. Over ratio. I used to work in a preschool. I think the ratio for preschool is um, one staff by eight children. Sometime I'll have uh, 18 kids. That is risky. Risky upon risky. But do the manager team care? No. They don't care. As long as parents are paying money, they do not care about the staffs. They'll promise you all these packages that if you work for this company, you'll be getting this. We care about you. You No, they do not care. They absolutely do not care. You're also exposed to different um, viruses or disease out there. Kids are becoming sick every day. And you you as the, as the practitioners are constantly exposed to sickness from the, everywhere. So, yeah. Uh, number nine. 
work-life balance guys there's no work, work there's no work-life balance there is no you see some people will be working from half seven let me talk sometimes all the way to six you see some staff members because we're off we're understaffed they'll offer themselves to stay from half seven so the ones have done half seven till they may be finishing at half four they're offering to stay at the six now that is madness me i would I, me i refused me i would refuse i was like i'm not going to stay at this six if i'm starting at half seven i am finished at half four so yeah work balance when when it comes to working in the industry setting is absolutely zero 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 that's it you just have long hours last but not least gossiping gossiping and bullying gossiping in, in industry setting guys i don't know if it's just women working together i don't understand but there's something about gossiping that i could not understand parents will come and drop the kids off staff members will gossip about black people they will talk they will literally gossip about it's like they know every single thing about each parent and i'm just thinking they're like jeez imagine if my kids were coming to this setting they would be talking about me 24 7. The gossiping is just awful. The bullying is so awful that you, you, you ask yourself, like, why am I working here? It's like you're in primary school. It's like you're in school again. Do you know when other girls will be bullying you because you're not dressed a certain way, you don't speak a certain way, you don't act a certain way? This is what is happening in, in a nursery setting with adults. Adults, no kids, adults. It's appalling. It's appalling. So I, I came to a point and I said to myself, do you know what, yeah? Why am I killing myself? Number one, it's, I'm underpaid. Number two, we're always understaffed. Number three, pressure from parents is always on uh, top notch. I'm ex being exposed to different kind of viruses and illnesses that's out there. Why am I killing? Why am I, you know, killing myself? Why? I told myself I love my kids. The only reason I went into childcare is because of my twins. I wanted my twins to go to, to nursery. But I didn't want to work with them. I didn't want to work in the same setting. But I also wanted them to do 30 hours, which meant I had to do at least 16 hours a week. And I said, do you know what? Let me work. Let me work for my kids. And now my kids are going to school. I was like, do you know what? Mm -mm. The amount of time they begged me to stay. Oh, we'll, we'll shorten your hours. I was like, no, in this place. Never. I am not. Would I be going to doing childcare again? I don't think so. I really don't think so. Because it's just... Working in a nursery setting will set will put you mentally mentally you you can be nah it's just not a safe place. So if you're wanting to go into nursery set, just prepare yourself. Mentally prepare yourself, physically prepare yourself, emotionally, emo because you're going to be emotionally downcast. That's my honest, that's my honest review. So yeah, just be careful out there. So yeah, guys, that's, I thought I'll just come and give give you this 10 reason to why I left nursery. I left childcare setting, childcare industry because of the toxic, tox, toxic, what? Is that even a word? Because of the toxic, because it's so toxic. <laughs> because it's so toxic. That's why I left it. And do I feel, do I feel happy now? Yes, I absolutely feel, I, I feel happy that I don't have to wake up very early to go to work. I feel happy that I don't have to sit down whilst having my dinner, just hearing gossip upon gossip upon gossip. But do I miss working with kids? Absolutely, I miss them because these kids were lovely. I treated them like they were my kids. Some of them were very respectful. I got along with some of their parents. And yeah, I do miss them. But you know what? They were in preschool. They're all going to primary school now. So yeah. But yeah, guys, I thought, you know what? Let me come and give you my experience. Now, bear in mind, guys, my experience might be different to yours. My setting might be different to yours. So everything that I'm saying is my own experience. So don't come and comment below and say, well, I'm, no, this is my own experience. This is how I felt. This is what I saw with my own eyes. And this is why I'm coming to share with you guys. Just because yours, you're, you're, you're not experiencing all this, that does not mean it doesn't happen. It happens. When I posted that video on TikTok about how working in nursery is toxic, there was loads and loads and loads of comments of people agreeing, people that worked in nursery setting for like 30 years, people that worked there for 15 years, and they've agreed that it is very toxic. And it's not healthy for somebody. Until <clears throat> until the education setting or whatever, the government, I don't know who deals with it, if at least they sit down and fix the things that's happening in the nursery industry, because at the end of the day, they're taking advantage of people. We're meant to be looking after these kids and giving showing them a good example. But we can't show them examples when you're being on you're, you're stressed, you're under what's the word? You're under understaffed all the time. 
when do you even have time for yourself sometimes you're having your dinner you're being called oh did you upload this oh did you do this it's like just give me one hour to have my dinner in peace but sometimes you can't get that i was lucky at what i was working we're getting one hour break but some in the setting they only get 30 minutes break so yeah i just thought let me come and share with you this guys i hope you've enjoyed this video please comment like and share and yeah guys i'll see you next week for another video bye